Hey there guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you how my dog Gunner made a painting. This was a very, very easy uh, enrichment behavior. There wasn't a ton of training that was involved. It was very, very simple to do. And it was just a fun activity to do with your dog. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you wanna make sure to stick around. That's gonna be coming up right after this. <music> Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. The other day I was trying to find a interactive activity to enrich my dog Gunner, uh, give him something that he could think about, something new to interact with that he hasn't done before, so I decided we would go ahead and put together a painting. This was a very, very easy thing for him to do. Uh, and at the end of the day, he actually made a nice little gift that he's going to give to his granny as she moves into a brand new home. But I figured you guys might wanna see how that process works as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how Gunner did a painting. Now you are going to need just a few materials for doing a painting with your dog. The first item you're going to need is a canvas. I am using a reasonably small canvas. It's about the size of an index card because Gunner is a reasonably small dog. Choose your canvas to fit accordingly. You are also going to need a Ziploc bag that gives you room around the canvas. Uh, that little bit of slack is important so the paint will have the ability to move around. Now for paint, choose the colors that you would like to use. For this, I am using acrylic paint, but if you have a dog that is known for chewing or particularly destructive, I would probably recommend a tempera paint since that's going to be safer in the event that they are able to chew through the bag. Now for the end of this, I'm also going to need a pair of scissors to go ahead and cut away that bag. I am going to need some peanut butter or some other treat that your dog is interested in just to get them to explore the canvas that they are going to be painting on. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bag and I am going to be using some peanut butter that I will spread along one side of the bag. Now, you want to make sure that you are paying attention to what kind of treats your dog is getting and just how much they are getting. As I am spreading this peanut butter, I'm actually spreading it thin enough that I can see the ridges of the butter knife and the bag through that. So remember, this should be a fun, enjoyable experience for your dog, but Never should anything like this end up being a health concern or a hazard because they're getting too many treats or they're getting something that is bad for them. So just try to keep that in mind. Now with the canvas, all I'm going to do is apply some dots. Uh, you can try different techniques. You can do dots, you can do lines. At the end of the day, you are the one who is going to need to enjoy this painting. The finished product is going to be enjoyed by people. The process of painting is going to be a great socialization activity and a fun activity for your dog. So they're gonna be a lot more excited in the painting process, not the finished product. Make sure you choose colors, figure out how to do them in a way that you will enjoy the finished product. Once I have enough paint applied to my canvas, I am gonna go ahead and very, very carefully slide that into the bag. That is why I applied the peanut butter at the very beginning, because if I tried to apply the peanut butter at the end, it would cause the paint to be smeared all over the place. And I don't wanna be the one responsible for doing that. I want my dog to be the one who gets the artistic freedom to move the paint around as they see fit. Uh, now I am going to go ahead and seal that bag very, very nicely because I don't want to get paint on myself as we are doing this. Uh, and then you just work with your dog and let them smear the paint around as they lick peanut butter off of the bag. 
As you can see, Gunner's tail uh, has, well, now it has stopped because he has pressed his butt against the coffee table. Um, but his tail did not stop going the entire time we were doing this. He was very, very excited about getting to do this painting. Not only is Gunner getting treats for this, but he is also getting exposed to something that he is not used to. He is getting to work on a painting. He is getting to uh, see the bag. There's the different texture. And exposing your dog to different stimuli in a positive way is a really, really good way to ensure that they are not as fearful and they can be very, very comfortable with new things. And Gunner here is pretty comfortable with all manner of things because Gunner has been exposed to all manner of stimuli from the time he was a puppy. That was always part of working with him. And I always wanted that to be something that was enjoyable for him. So we would move at his pace and find ways to make things a game or more exciting. So something like this, where your dog is very definitely getting treats, is going to be a great way to expose them to new stimuli. If you guys like ideas like this, you want to make sure that you like this video because it lets me know the kind of things that you guys like seeing. You also want to make sure you subscribe to the High Redbird YouTube channel because I do videos like this for all manner of animals, dogs, birds, reptiles, livestock. Uh, you think of it and I have probably started to do videos and worked with that animal at some point. Now, once your dog is finished with the peanut butter, this is what you're going to be left with. You can see there was still a little bit of peanut butter. Depending on the size of your canvas and your bag, you may be able to just pull the canvas out of the bag without smearing or disrupting the paint. Uh, but I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. Now, the benefit of doing that is that you could then recycle the bag. You would be able to use it again and again, uh, but instead, I am just going to use scissors to cut the sides of the bag. That way, I'll be able to peel that plastic away and see Gunner's finished painting. Now, uh, Gunner's granny is actually moving into a brand new house, so we chose colors that we thought she would enjoy, and we are very, very excited to give this to her. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I do need to say a special thank you to my Patreon patrons. Not only do they support the High Red Bird YouTube channel, but they do get special bonuses and additional content as well. I am also very thankful of my High Red Bird channel sponsors. If you would like to find out more information, you can find that in the description section of this video. Thank you all so much.